Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sipogazi William and today this video Thank you again to them for another one has been sponsored by The Body Shop and today we're looking at their Metal Eye Liquid Shadows which I've used today on this amazing look. Um, like I said, I'm thankful to them for sponsoring this video. It's always amazing working with The Body Shop and all that good stuff. But yes, I just did this eye look. I only did the eye look. I didn't do my my complexion, makeup and all that stuff because I feel like I've done it many times, you guys know my routine so we just did the eyes, we just focused on the eyes, did this cut crease which I've never ever done in my life never mind on my channel, I've never done any sort of cut crease ever in my life so that was very fun and interesting to do if you guys are interested in hearing more about the product and seeing how I achieve this eye look then carry on watching Okay, so we're going to go into the eyes. I've already done my complexion makeup product and all of that. I just left um, the translucent powder under my, under my eyes to sort of bake, but also just as protection if, you know, there's any fallout and all of that. To start off the look, I'm going to go into my Makeup Revolution palette, so the Soph X Collab. This is basically my everyday holy grail makeup palette. So it's got all these amazing colors. So I don't have a sticker that has like all the color names. It's somewhere in the box. But um, I really like this. As you guys can see, I've been using a lot of the red and, and all that. So I'm definitely going to be wearing today's look. We're just going to see how it goes. We're definitely going to incorporate the Body Shop's Metal Liquid Eye like shadows into this whole entire look. So I'm going to start by going into this color. This is the color that I always use for my crease. So I'm going to go in with that and then I'll probably start to deepen it with this brown down here. Also, I know I'm going to actually go and get my brows waxed literally in like an hour and stuff. So don't pay attention to those right now. We're going to fix them in a second. I didn't want to do like trim them for the video knowing that I'm going to get them done just now. Also, I'm looking at two different mirrors. So I have the mirror here and then I have a mirror right in front of me. So I just keep checking like how does it look from both angles essentially. Then after that, I'm going to pack on this burgundy looking red because it matches one of the liquid colors that I'm going to use. So just going to pack that on like here. So almost your middle part of your eye, but not too far in. Then you want to bring in a little bit of that brown from earlier, the darker one, and just blend these two together. And I'm going to continue to blend and pack until I feel like there's enough pigment. I'm going to do a bit of a half cut crease, something like that, trying this out for the very first time. Um, just because I want the liquid shadows to pop now when I put them on. So I'm going to go in with my Allego Pro Conceal Concealer in the color medium beige. This is just the color that I use underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use a Color Concealer 513 brush to apply this on. I have never cut a crease in my life and I'm so scared. And just pack on the concealer on my eyelid. Now 
And then I'm going to go in with my Essence Stay All Day Translucent Fixing Powder and this is just the colour number one translucent and it's just white because I want the colours to pop like I said I'm just going to set that using that same concealer brush just a very light amount of this so I'm just going to go back in here and try and blend this out so it's not too like obvious I haven't put any um, color on this brush actually I just use what was left over so this is just the matte part and now for the fun part to play with these body shop metal eye liquids they really actually are liquid I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah so these were sent to me like I have mentioned and I haven't opened them I haven't tried them out so that we can all do it together so yeah I'm going to go in with the first one just to like swatch them so you guys can see before I actually put them on my eye first one is rust bronze 140 that's the color and yeah so it says the body shops metal eye liquid and also has instruction that says shape me so we're gonna do that a little bit and then yeah it's literally liquid I have no idea how to show you right no, but it's liquid. So it just comes out with this applicator brush, which I like because my other liquid eyeshadow that I love using, which is an Essence one, also has an applicator like this. Um, I can use this, but I can also like take from take the product on a brush from this applicator and then put it onto my eyes. So just to swatch it for you guys, this is what it looks like. Oh. Honey, come through with the pigment. Okay. Oh wow, okay. So, just gonna swatch the gold for you guys. Ooh. Yeah, she's, she's liquidy. She's like very liquid. But, they dry like super quick from what I'm seeing. And she's still very, very pigmented. Like these two colors have so much pigment, it's insane. So a little bit of information about these, these are from the body shop as I've mentioned, they do retail for 130 Rand per bottle, so it is a bit more high end than like your normal ones but it's all up to you like what you feel is fitting for you and your budget and then also they are 100% vegan and they are three different untrained metallic shades and they are a pearlescent pigment with a natural mica, mica? something like that. They are said to be high impact and high coverage, but you can obviously blend these out if you want a more subtle eye look. So this sounds great. I can I can play around with them and let's start doing that. Let me just wipe off swatches. So we have like the sort of cut crease starting out and ready to be done. So I'm going to start with the color Rust Bronze 140 to sort of blend in this eyeshadow that I, the matte part that i have going on with where the cut crease is going to be and i'm going to just use it with the applicator and see if i want to still blend it out so i'm just going in the middle essentially of this just to sort of let it transition to metallic i think i'm going to blend it out because obviously it's just sitting there i'm just going to take a flat brush and start to blend I really like the way it's looking I've never really done a metallic eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow as is I usually try and soften it up so I really am enjoying the way it looks and it's blending quite well with the color that I chose so that's really great and then just oh that looks really pretty then I'm going to go in with golden carrot and that's going to be the most part of the cut crease essentially have to be like super careful And then I'm just gonna like blend it out and try and mix these two so it's a natural transition. I'm 
like that. Okay. So I'm going to just do the bottom section and basically this bottom section I'm just going to be putting on that burgundy purple just to give it some dimension underneath my eyes and then connect it as well. I'm going to use my NYX eyeliner. It is the That's The Point eyeliner in the color Super Edgy. And I really like this because of the way the tip is. It's almost like a cookie pen, which I mean, I suppose you'd think it wouldn't work. But for me, I've really been enjoying it because it really helps make eyeliner so simple. So I'm just going to align. And do a bit of a wing. I'm going to go in with my Isla Exaggerate number 140 lashes because I want this look to be very dramatic. Um, the hair is big, you know, it's all shining, glittery and metallic. Might as well just go all the way through with it. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other eye off camera and put on the lashes. These are the most dramatic lashes I've ever put on in my entire life. But I think for this look, they look really cool. Um, so the only thing that's left for me to do is to just brush away this translucent powder and then put on some lipstick and I'll take my headband off and I'll get into like a proper outfit and all that stuff and then I will do the outro and, and talk about the products and all that. Okay, so that's the finished product, all good and done with the lashes and everything, the finished look, really love it, I'm feeling like, I don't know, Diana Ross, 70s, colour, everything, you know, and I'm really loving it. Just to speak a little bit about the actual product that we were looking at today, which are the liquid eye metallic colours, I think that they're really great. Compared to other metallic liquid eyeshadows that I've used, they're more liquid, but then it's great because they're still very pigmented and have a very high color payoff, which is not something that you usually get. They are 130 Rand, as I said, which is like, it's your decision, you know, if you, if you want to spend that coin, for me, it is worth it. Also, in store at the Body Shop, they do have a 3 for 2 sale at the moment, like a promotion, and that is on everything, excluding gifts and, and all those things, but it's all in store and all that good stuff. I really enjoyed doing this look. I love that it pushed me out of my comfort zone and what I usually do. I don't know if you guys did, give it a thumbs up, tell me down below in the comment section and all that. I don't know, maybe I'll start doing more makeup looks and stuff like that. But yes, I really enjoyed doing this look. I had so much fun. Thank you again to The Body Shop for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.